everybody, this is Jim here on Lessons on WordPress here on Educator.com. Today we're going to talk about menu. We're moving right along on the left side of the uh, WordPress uh, menu. And uh, speaking of menus, that's what the discussion is. So we're going to talk about creating menus. Before we go, let me give an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, well, actually, it's in the slide over here. So. Menus, sometimes on the right-hand side of a WordPress, uh, they do have certain uh, links to different things like categories and, and uh, I guess, a calendar. Sometimes we want to add our own little links, our own little menu to, uh, you know, accommodate uh, different uh, websites that we want to uh, cross uh, linked with. It's good for uh, search engine optimization. So if you're an eye doctor, Maybe you want to have a link to uh, a, a lens specialist or a, a place where they sell uh, eye frames, glass frames, or uh, whatever. I mean, it, it could be whatever you want. So we want to have control of a menu system where we want to be able to have better control to direct our audience. Okay, so we're going to talk about that, uh, creating a menu, okay, and uh, adding items to that menu, obviously. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to talk about formatting it and then placing the menu. So what does all this mean? Well, of course, to create a menu, it means, you know, we have a, a certain amount of links, okay? So if this was a menu, we'd have certain amount of links. And then we're going to add items to the menu. So what kind of links are these? Are they posts? Are they uh, know, comments? Are they links to other websites? Okay, and then we're going to format. In other words, some are going to be parents, some are going to be children, <laughs> okay, child. So in other words, basically, uh, if you have something like uh, education, okay, and then there will be an indent, okay, I'll just use a different color, indent, and then the link could be educator.com. So educator.com is the child of education. In other words, it is a, I like to call it a subcategory of the main category. So that's what, that's what I mean by formatting, okay? We can easily move things over and, and indent. And of course, educator.com can have its own child. I guess educator junior. All right, and then of course, that's also involved in placing a menu. This will all come clear to you as uh, we move on through this lesson. Let's go to the first slide, and this is what we're going to create right here, okay? Uh, we're going to create, of course, as you can see, that some posts, uh, some of these uh, bullet points are indented inwards, so you've got the main category, and then you've got the subcategories, and of course, you've got three main categories. Some are indented uh, so that it is basically saying that it belongs to a, a category, a main category, or a parent. But either way, this links, these are all links, okay, and uh, basically it goes to another page uh, with content. Right now, if we were to go to that site, and I'll go to right here, you notice that this is live, and it doesn't have these links. No, these are not the same links as the ones that were created. We're going to create that. These are other widgets, as I explained before, that are a part of it, uh, of this particular site, we can actually get rid of them, and which we will do, and uh, we'll basically make it clear. A lot of times we don't want widgets. We only want our specific links on the side of our blog, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's move down a little bit. We're going to talk about all this fun stuff. Uh, sorry for going crazy here, but we're going to talk a little bit about how to go create this uh, you know, menu system.